he's basically going to set a pick on all three Bills defenders, as all three of these defenders are covering nobody. So when they make their break, they basically just set a pick to each other, and both receivers are just running wide open. That route just completely glitches them out. You're getting an easy one-play touchdown from anywhere. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. Last year, I started a monthly video where I put out some of the best glitch routes found in every single playbook in Madden 23, and I wanted to continue that this year because it was very popular. But if you guys Woo! want to see more of this type of video, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys several glitch routes that I found while I was preparing my Madden 24 eBooks. A lot of the routes I'm going to show you today can score against any defense in the game, but I'm going to focus specifically on man beaters, as that's probably the most dominant defense in Madden 24 so far. Starting off, I'm going to show you guys two plays out of the gun stack wide flex offense from my Saints offensive ebook. There's so many glitch routes in this particular formation that I can make an entire video like this just about this offense. But luckily for you guys, I already did. So if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, I will have a link in the description as well as an on screen pop it at the end of the video. So stick around for that. The first play I'm going to go over is the drive age wheel. And it's because I've already showed this in the past. So I'm going to go through this really quick. On defense, we're going to pick a man zero blitz. All you really have to do for this play to work is put the X route on a streak, but for blocking purposes, I typically check and release the running back. If I put him in a straight up pass block, the safety that's in front of the X and Y route will turn to a deep zone. I don't want that. So I want to hold that safety and coverage while also getting the blocking from a check and release. So this will basically buy me a little bit of time. And you'll see how this X route here can really get wide open, even though I was clearly under pressure as I had a fully red uh, target bar there. I showed that play first because I think that particular route can be a little bit hit or miss in Madden 24. And I think that I found an even better one this year in the PA read, which is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game. Link in the description once again. For this play to work, you really need to be going against a defense that has at least three cornerbacks because I've noticed that if a safety is covering one of these receivers, it really doesn't work. It's all about the spacing of the cornerbacks at the start of the play. After that, it's best to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field, but you really don't have to. You can run it from anywhere and I'll still have a different varying degree of success. The setup is really just to put the wire out on a fade. That's all you got to do. But then I also put the running back in a check and release which is important for the the safety once again so at this point i really don't have to do anything else and both of these receivers will get open by a lot just as long as i could time that a little bit as you can see he was open by about 10 yards and i could have threw to the other receiver as well so basically when six goes around to fade you can see that these cornerbacks are basically hip to hip and they're running parallel but they're supposed to be covering the other guy so when they make their break they basically just set a pick to each other to the point where they're really just blocking each other now and both receivers are just running wide open so I'll go and I'll do that one more time. Like I said, that time we get the animation glitch where basically Trayvon Diggs just tries to shoot down to get to the cornerback before he makes that route. If you run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field, like I'm suggesting, you're going to see this animation a lot more where the cornerback outside is covering the receiver on the backside is just going to basically whiff to try to get closer to 16, and that's going to result in a much easier wide open touchdown. The next play is out of my brand new New York Jets playbook that I just released because you guys were asking for it so much in the comment section. So I heard that book out and this really is one of the better playbooks in the game It's still not as large as my New Orleans Saints playbook but it still has a very large amount of glitchy plays. The formation is the gun bunch strong offset, and the play itself is all the way at the bottom here, the corner strike. This is another cover zero play, so we're going to go, we're going to pick the Overstone Brave one more time. Now, there's two routes on this play that are very unique that could qualify for this video. The route that the tight end is running is very unique. As you'll see, the tight end, for whatever reason, gets open way better against man coverage than your typical flat routes. I mean, that was about a 10 or more yard catch, where your typical flat route, which is basically in your adjustments just like this, might only get you a few because this is not a very good play against man coverage you can see i'm getting shut down pretty much at the catch point about a yard or two past the line of scrimmage but the route that this play is really about is the b route as you'll see tredavious white a superstar cornerback has no success covering this b route once he breaks outside and you can see this is a catch and run one play touchdown an instant catch and run one play touchdown any single time somebody runs man zero against this play just make sure you run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field and you can see Tredavis white is in a great position to stop an outside route he has outside leverage for by about five yards on garrett wilson and for whatever reason he still cooks him to the outside now i know this route doesn't look like much it's just a simple corner route but i don't care where you are in the field this route gets open instantly it doesn't matter if this guy's lit up or not you're getting an easy one play touchdown from anywhere anywhere on the field just as long as you get a nice smooth catch and run and you have a receiver fast enough to run the length of the field 
So now that I've shown you guys two instant one-play touchdowns against Cover Zero, I'm going to show you guys a very unique one against Cover One that can be found once again in the Jets playbook, my Jets offensive ebook from the Gun Bunch. The play itself is going to be the inside cross. Once again, you're going to want to make sure that you have a pretty good speed receiver or maybe one of your best receivers at this spot here. On defense, once again, we're going to pick Cover One Hole. Now, this play, once again, is not really a glitch route as much as it is just a formational glitch. And it's going to work best if you run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field because doing that will condense the bunch receivers just enough that you'll get some really glitchy looks out of it. To make this play work, all you really got to do is put the RB route on a fade. After that, you want to put the X route on a streak just to try to pull the safety in that direction as much as possible because it is a cover one one play touchdown and there is a safety over the top. So fading that RB route, you'll notice that when he gets through all these cornerbacks, a lot of times he'll just get bumped around to the point where he runs around everybody. One of the other reasons why this play works is because I put this guy on a fade and not a streak. If you put him on a streak, he's going to try to run through the press and it's not going to work. He's going to get jammed inside towards the safety. That's what pressing does. But since he's on a fade, he's going to try to run around that. And doing so, he's basically going to set a pick on all three Bills defenders. I mean, at this point, you can really throw to the tight end. You could throw to 10 here on a drag who's wide open because his cornerback's getting jumbled up. Or you can throw to the one play touchdown, which is obviously going to be the preference to Hardman, as all three of these defenders are basically covering nobody. This isn't necessarily going to work every single time because it really depends on what happens with the man defenders, but you really have to watch because sometimes the A route's going to be the guy, sometimes the RB route's going to be the guy. You can see right there, once again, the cornerback couldn't get through the garbage, the tight end gets wide open underneath. Sometimes the RB route will get opened by a little, sometimes they'll get opened by a lot. You really just have to watch to see who's getting hung up on who before you make the decision. As you can see this time, Nicole Hardman is just wide open for another one play touchdown. So it's really two different routes in this play that can get open. And then last but not least, we got some plays and routes out of my Denver Broncos ebook. And it's from the single back bunch. We're going to address cover zero one more time as that is one of the hardest defenses to beat and one of the easiest to score one play touchdowns against if you know the right routes. The play I'm going to use this time is going to be the PA boot slide. And once again, you want to make sure you have your better receiver out here. I'm going to go ahead and take Alan Lazard. I'm just going to put in Corey Davis. who's On defense, once again, we're going to go with man zero blitz. We're going to go with the Overstorm Brave. This play here doesn't really require any uh, adjustments, but I'm going to put that wire out on that magic check and release once again because it will give me some blocking and it will hold the safety in coverage. And then the B route here is going to be the play. Even with my man lit up one more time, Tredavious White has no chance of covering that route as it's probably one of the easiest one-play touchdowns in the game. The reason this play works once again is even with Tredavious White lit up, he's still got outside leverage, which is going to cause this play to work in 84's favor. As Corey Davis just cuts across, you can see he just can't keep up. I mean, that cut, he basically runs this route like he's running right into Tredavious White. And when he cuts, Tredavious White just gets blown back by a couple yards. I'll go and I'll do it again, but this play is very consistent if you throw the ball at the right time. If you hold the ball too long, Tredavious White will typically catch up right there. I thought he was going to make a play on it. I was hoping that would be a fail take but he still scored so that's that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this i plan on doing a video like this at least once a month so make sure to be a subscriber and stick around for that other than that i'll have a video popping up about some other plays and videos that i put out about man 24 so if you guys want to check them out i'm sure it'll help with your game and that's it thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below